I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Today, CU is urging students and staff who had personal data stolen to ignore any attempts by hackers to contact them. The university says the system it uses to transfer files was hit by hackers that exposed more than 300,000 records, some with personal data. The university says it is reaching out to everyone affected by letter and or email, and they'll let you know exactly what information was exposed. If you have questions, you can call the number on your screen. Again, they are asking that you do not respond to the hackers and instead delete their messages. Devastating news out of Fountain. Police say a 15-year-old and a 9-year-old are dead after a crash last night. A third teen was also hit but is expected to be okay. Police say they were crossing against the light at the intersection of Mesa Ridge Parkway and Fountain Mesa Road when they were hit and the driver did stay on scene. Accident investigators are now trying to figure out how it happened. Our nation's battle against the coronavirus is not slowing down. Johns Hopkins University says the U.S. reported more than 70,000 new cases a day on average over the past week. That's about what it was during last summer's peak. Federal leaders are pushing for rapid vaccination to help stop the surge. The CDC says more than 50% of adults here in the U.S. have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. It's a weather action day on Monday as we anticipate rain and snow moving into Colorado. And we could see quite a few inches of snow here for the front range. Afternoon highs will be in the 40s, but temperatures dropping throughout the day. So by the evening, we'll have snow falling with that wet, slushy snow for Metro Denver. Sunny and breezy on Tuesday. That storm is a fast mover, so it'll be out of here quickly. And by the time we get to the end of the week, temperatures will be in the 50s. But check out the weekend, 60s and 70s by Saturday and Sunday. Looking forward to it. All right, this has been your Denver 7 on-demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.